Okay, here we're going to go through a problem finding the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of grouped data. And we're going to do this one by hand, and in the next video we'll do it in the calculator. So, first thing we have to do, let's read through the problem and figure out if we are given a population or a sample. So I have the following table gives the frequency distribution of the number of hours spent last week on cell phones by all 100 students at a school. So since this says all 100, that is going to be a population. Okay, so with the population, we're gonna start with finding the mean. So the mean is going to be given to us by, let's see here, mu for mean is the sum of the midpoint times the frequency over n. Okay, so first of all, let's find the midpoints. So I'm going to make a column right here for the midpoints. Midpoint, you're going to add your two uh, data values for your group data and then divide by 2. So 0 plus 4 is 4 divided by 2, 2. 4 plus 8, 12 divided by 2 gives you 6. Then you're going to get 10 12 plus 16 is 28 divided by 2, 14. 16 plus 20 is 36 divided by 2, 18, and then 22. Okay, and then you have the midpoint times the frequency. This is your frequency, the number of students. So that's your F column. So you're going to go midpoint times the frequency. And we're going to make a new column here. So M, F. So we're going to go 2 times 15, 30, 6 times 20, 120, 10 times 25, 250, 14 times 12, 168, 18 times 18, 324. And then 22 times 10, 220. Okay, and then if we add this column together, that's going to give us the sum of the midpoint times the frequency. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm going to pull this up over here. 30 plus 120 plus 250, 168, 24, 220. So 1,112. So that's the sum of the midpoints times the frequency. Okay, then to find the mean, I divide by n. n is the number total in your population. Okay, so it's told to you up here 100, or you could add your frequency column. And then you're going to do 1,112 divided by 100. That's going to give you 11.12 for your mean. Okay, now let's move on and we'll do the variance and standard deviation. So your variance formula for grouped data for a population is that sigma squared is the sum of m squared times f minus the sum of m times f squared over n, and then that whole thing over n. All right, so we need to make a new column here for this m squared f. So I'm going to go m squared. It's going to be my midpoints squared. So I'm going to take these values and square them. So I'm going to have 2 squared is 4. 6 squared is 36, 10 squared 100, 14 squared 196, 18 squared 324, and then 22 squared 484. Okay, now I need m squared f, so I'm going to take this m squared and I'm going to multiply it times the frequency. So I'm going to go this column here times this column here. So 4 times 15 gives me 60. 36 times 20 gives me 720. 
100 times 25 gives me 2,500. 196 times 12 gives me 2,352. 324 times 18, 5,832. And then 484 times 10 gives me 4,840. Okay, then I need for my formula, the sum of m squared f. So I am going to sum this column. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the calculator. We will sum this column. So 60 plus 720 plus 2,500 plus 4840. So that's gonna give you 16,304. There, so you can see that. Okay, so then we're going to take that and we're going to use this in our variance formula. So our variance formula, you're going to have the sum of m squared f. So that is going to be 16, 304, minus the sum of mf, which was 1,112. We're going to take that and square it and divide it by n, which is 100. And then we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to divide by 100. So I'm going to let you guys follow along in the calculator while I do this. So order of operations, I'm going to do that 1,112 and square it first. And then I'm going to divide that by 100. And then I'm going to go 16,304 minus that answer. So second negative sign, we'll pull the previous answer and then I'm going to divide by 100. And that's gonna give me 39.3856. And that is my variance. 39.3856. So sigma squared, 39.3, and we can do 0.386 there. So that's your variance. Now the standard deviation, you're just going to take the square root of that. So the standard deviation will be the square root. So let's go back here and we'll go second square and then second answer. And that's gonna give us this value here, 6.276. And there's our standard deviation. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to do this on the calculator. So make sure you watch that.